Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's Timeless Tarot message, I have the water signs specifically in mind. So if you're Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, this message is specifically for you, all right? And whenever you find it, it is going to be timeless, and so please take what resonates at that time. Today, I'll be using the Tarot of Curious Creatures by Chris Sand, and there's a front of that box cover now. And off camera, as I always do, I'm shuffling and cutting my deck, and now we're just releasing any additional negative energy that may be attached to the cards. Divine Guidance, Spirit Guides, Peace, Love, and Light. What do we need to know specifically for our lovely water signs today? What are the water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun signs, rising signs, moon signs, wherever it is in your chart, okay? Oh, interesting. And look at this beautiful card that we got for the water signs, the high priestess. So this is a major arcana, okay? Absolutely love this card. I love the way that Chris Ann takes her, you know, art and puts it on these cards in a way that is very unique and specific. We've got a human figure with a crow head or a blackbird type head and some feathers here and there. So again, and the number two, all right? So as I talk about in my openings of all my videos, I talk about signs and synchronicities and how they're very important because the, the spirit world and the universe are trying to send us additional messages whenever we see you know, repeating signs and synchronicities within our environment. So 222, are you seeing 222? Go out and do your homework and apply those messages to your life, all right? What are you doing? What are you thinking when you see 222? Are you waking up at 222 a.m., all right? This message could be for you. And certainly, are you seeing crows or blackbirds specifically? Do you have a pet bird of any type or kind, all right? This message could be for you. Let's say you're seeing crows or blackbirds all of the time, and that is specific to you, okay? That could be an animal totem for you, which it has more of a meaning of that is related to you specifically and your personality. And, um, or you could have being seeing blackbirds you know, crows and that type of thing as a re reoccurring, repeating animal in your life, and that's a message indeed in itself, okay? So again, just wanted to be clear on that, that uh, my lovely water signs, and this is going to resonate probably with me as well because I am a water sign. So <clears throat> I am a Cancer sun and a Scorpio moon and rising, all right? So I'm heavy in the water area, so I need to pay attention as well today. And certainly the beautiful color purple here. If purple is your favorite color, please know purple could have a message for you. Colors hold energy, okay? And um, certainly colors can hold meanings in different areas. And I oftentimes bring this up. Um, if you have a chakra, for example, out of alignment, the purple could you know, represent that, which chakra that is for you. So that is just a pure example. There are other things that colors are related to, and I would go out and, and uh, do your research on what that means for you, okay? <clears throat> so let's get into the lovely card message, and I'm reading word from word from the booklet, as I always do in every single video, because I'm honoring Chris Ann. I'm honoring the hard work, not only in the images that she creates, but the words that it takes and, and the perspective that she puts into this booklet for us to read and, and gain insight from. So let's honor her today. When this is heads or upright, this is the general into this is the general energy. Intuition, initiation, a wisdom keeper, a time to pause and listen to your inner guidance. Passive motion. Psychic and spiritual experiences, self-awareness, the unconscious mind, mysteries of the divine, okay? For some reason, I'm getting ghost hunter. I don't know why, okay? But, or, or, or uh, haunted, okay? So if you 
not only have an interest in ghost hunting um, and, and doing that as a hobby, you're being encouraged to do so. It's a very interesting work and um, you could be a pioneer and leading the way in that uh, regard and you're being encouraged you know by spirit and the other side to keep going with that you know if you're starting up some kind of a ghost hunting or haunted house exploration business or or service of some sort you're being encouraged to continue with that and then on the other piece i'm also getting here today if somebody is here today and they feel like they have a haunted um, home that they're in um, or or they notice that they have a spirit that is in the home pl please know that that is okay or right that spirit you could encourage that spirit to be released um, certainly consider um, burning sage within your home and opening the windows and speaking to the spirit and encouraging them that it is okay to go to the other side it is okay to leave the property they've done their job and you know treating even that energy that has crossed over with respect will get you a lot farther than you know if you didn't do that so um encourage today to speak out to you know that spirit that is haunting your home and take the necessary steps and you can do your homework and google searches too and even you know communicate and have conversations with individuals that have done home cleansings invite them into your home um, do the rituals if that makes you feel better if that helps you know you to release any kind of anxiety or worry or to make that connection with that spirit to let them go and i'm getting child okay so and specifically female energy um, in the home so again you can go out and do your research there are plenty of resources and people out there that specifically dedicate their lives to this kind of thing and uh, you're being encouraged to take the necessary steps to release that um, that young female energy out of your home um, so she can go off to the other side but take the necessary steps to connect with her in a loving way or write in and hold respect for the past, the past spirits and souls, okay? Very interesting that I'm getting that off the card here today, but you'll know if it resonates with you, okay? In a world of instant answers and overwhelming amount of pseudo fact, the high priestess is an invitation to dwell for a moment within the mystery. She sits between the spiritual and earthly realms and asks you to embrace the stillness and just be. While you listen for the gentle voice of your own intuition, okay? By sitting quietly, suspended in the abyss of ancient truth, you, your own answers will rise to meet you, okay? We all have the ability to check in with our intuition. And if we listen close enough, all of the answers come to us, all right? Trust that you will intuit the right moment to resume conscious motion, right? So trust yourself. If you're giving yourself a rest and a break, trust yourself to allow that to happen and that you will know when to take the next step forward. You are stepping into a profound knowing and your dreams will carry the whispers of prophecy. So listen for the language of metaphor. Time spent in a state of receptivity will be steeped in serendipity and guidance, and your ability to hear the cooing of your soul is being amplified at this time. Dive into your unconscious mind and seek to know thyself as profound psychic and spiritual intelligence is germinating, and silent observation will provide the dreamy hollow needed for its reemergence. You are becoming the oracle, all right? You are becoming stronger when you trust yourself and your intuition and you trust that you are being sent signs and synchronicities and messages and guidance and you are being 
held, okay? Your hand is being held as you walk your path here and um, taking some time to really focus on that and knowing that you're powerful and you have the answers that lie inside you, okay? And maybe for those of you that are here today that have that haunted home, maybe you need to take some time to think about how you can approach the spirit and the cleansing of your home and the releasing of the spirit. And, and you might find that um, if you do any kind of historical um, research on your home and property, that you may indeed find that you had something specifically in common with the young female energy that passed. And wouldn't that be interesting to mention that as you're, you know, making contact with the spirit and, you know, and this is simply done by speaking in the home to the spirit, all right, and encouraging them and um, knowing that you are allowing that spirit to, to feel safe enough to reach out and that it is okay and, um, and, and communicating with them to help them along their way so that they can choose to, you know, leave the home base there and uh, return to the collective energy on the other side, all right, that their mission is complete and their energy may be kind of stuck in that space, okay? So you will know because there's going to be something that you discover within your historical research that actually is a is something that you share okay so you'll know what that is when you find it and i'd really be curious to know you know who this resonates with and what you did find out and um how that worked out for you and if you did indeed you know take the time to um do do the necessary procedures and processes and and rituals to release the spirit very interesting today off of this card, all right? <clears throat> raven, raven conversations, okay? So a raven specifically, all right? Time and space are more flexible than we experience them to be. I invite you to look at the lines between past and present and future and present, and then find the lines that point towards your own healing. You are connected to all things. How does your intuition speak to you? Tell me what your intuition feels like, all right? So very important message here today. And it is, there is quite a bit of, you know, intuitive specific downloads as I always get in all my readings. I just, I promised myself uh, when I started this channel that I was no longer going to hold back. And um, when I get those, you know, I'm a catalyst, so when I do get those, you know, spiritual messages coming through from spirit on the other side, um, I'm channeling that, I am going to release that back onto you um, as in hopes that by doing so, I'm helping others um, on their journey as well. So, very interesting message today about checking with our intuition, trusting our intuition, and taking time to allow ourselves to check in with ourselves, okay? So I appreciate you, Water Signs. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for your likes and your subscribes. I now have a little subscribe button in the corner of each and every video, so it makes it easy for people to just hit that button, and here we are, right? Thanks for helping me grow on my channel and my in your support. I appreciate you and the time that you take with me every day. Thank you so much. I hope you put your best foot forward. Be that best human you can be today. Feel free to watch my collective energy reading that I did today as well. You might find additional messages there that could resonate with you or somebody that you know. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.